round number one, it was the PBC on Fox, and what a fight we had. And we have a new IBF slash WBA junior middleweight champion of the world. It's J-Rock from Philly. Julian Williams taking Jarrett Hurd in his hometown to the back of the woodshed. Listen, I thought Julian Williams with this technical skill would be in this fight for six, seven, eight rounds. I thought he'd beat him down the middle. I thought his boxing acumen would keep him in the fight. I believe in the late rounds, though, we'd have the thundering herd. Never happened. Never happened. Kimster, I, is it too bold of a statement to say uh, fight of the year? One of them. It'll be it, invited it's, to it's, the it's banquet. On, it's on the list. It'll be on the list. It's on the list. I love that fight. I love inside fighting. That's my kind of fight. I thought I was seeing a couple of paisanos in there, man. A yeah. couple of Mexicanos get down. And I loved that they went uh, for it in, just right from the get. We know who Hurd is, and we know he's a slow starter. And we know he loves to impose his will, fight on the inside, where he's very effective. And he was effective for a while here, too, um, with his body shots. And usually he's the bigger, stronger guy in there. But, man, Williams came to fight. Yes, he does have great boxing skills, but he showed some of that Philly toughness and grit in the way he was throwing those quick combos with those hooks. And when he dropped them in, what was it, the second? Second round. Woo! I said, oh, my God, he's coming for uh -oh. real. Uh -oh. With those uh -oh. top of the uh, uh, shots right on the temple. And uh, Hurd went down. I said, man, he's going to have to show me some. Now, granted, to his credit, he came back, fought himself into the fight a little bit, but, gosh, just didn't have enough to kick it into that other gear. He always eats too many punches, like I thought, He just in general. But because he is so tough, and he does have that sort of Margarito-esque style, which I love. But, man, move that head once in a while, and I didn't think he utilized his jab as much. And it's like the clock ran out on him, and he was suffering way too much damage. How he was able to stand up those shots, st uh, stand up to those shots, because Williams was throwing crisp, hard combos, and my man came in in shaped ripped and really focused and ready to win so credit to him and i was a big herd fan or i am a big herd fan still, still am still am absolutely still am and like i said a short list for fight of the year but now i'm a even bigger williams fan because he showed a lot of heart breaking my heart every time they would cut away and go to mama herd and show yeah. her in the audience right there but hey he can hold his head up high he fought valiantly just wasn't enough i'm curious to see if and i know it's it's a young career but if his style a little too much tread on those tires to keep up on this pace because assuming there is a rematch which a lot of people are are clamoring for i don't know if it could be that much different unless serious changes are made in the camp yeah your scores 116 111 115 112 twice mario i thought outside of round three six and seven i thought the scores were actually a tad generous yeah for jared hurt it could have been work. it You're could have right. been as much as 10 2 the closest mm. in my book is 8 4 and Jared Hurd, you talk about the physical erosion, not just the style. Also, he takes off a ton of weight. Right. He's that a dude. prematurely ages a fighter. And I'll have to be honest with you, um, and we'll talk about the interview with Stephen Edwards, who is the manager trainer of J-Rock in a few minutes. But he said to me, Steve, he might be taller, he might be bigger, but we were stronger. And for this particular fight, Julian Williams did some real strength and conditioning with Tony Brady. And it showed. And from the core... To his legs, Ooh. he was stout, and he kept beating Hurd inside the pocket, and he stayed beating him to the punch inside the pocket. Those combos look really crisp yeah. and had pop all the way until the end. We know Hurd's a tough guy, and I don't know if it's because he drains himself so much, but his hands are heavy, but they never look crisp to me, and they never yeah. look like they have that pop. And I don't, I don't know if it is because of the weight— but it, it was not at the same level of Williams. Williams was pretty impressive that night. Putting together this game plan in the corner is the man that I mentioned a moment ago, Stephen Breadman Edwards, who has known Julian Williams since the very beginning. This...